Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Next, we will examine tracking time for the partners and paraprofessionals within the firm. Note that if you wish to use time tracking for hourly billing, you should first set up an item for each partner or paraprofessional within the firm and assign their billing rates within the sales price fields. Review the lesson 29.7, Creating Billing Line Items, within Chapter 29 of this manual for assistance in creating line items to use for legal billing. Note that the income account associated with the items should be the legal fee income account. You should also review the lesson on weekly timesheets in Chapter 19 of the Advanced QuickBooks Manual to reacquaint yourself with the basics of timesheet entry if needed. Within the weekly timesheet window, select the desired partner or paraprofessional and set the desired week. Then enter the client's matter or case from the customer job column. Then enter the individual line items within the service column for each client's case or matter. You should enter any notes needed into the notes column. If you will be paying the partner or paraprofessional from the time entered into the weekly timesheet, then select the type of earning they receive from the payroll item drop-down. Finally, you should set whether or not the time that you then enter is billable by using the Billable column to indicate billable and non-billable hours. For hours marked as billable, you can then use the hours entered to invoice the clients if desired. You can review the lesson Invoicing from Time Data in Chapter 19 of the Advanced QuickBooks Manual if you would like to review the process prior to creating the invoices. You can then bill for the time when you open an invoice for the selected client and matter or case within QuickBooks. Normally, QuickBooks will ask if you wish to use any billable hours that have been entered when you select the client and matter for whom you have performed the timesheet entry within an invoice form. However, if you do not have QuickBooks set up to prompt you, or if you are using an older version of QuickBooks, then simply click the Add Time and Costs button within the Create Invoices window to open the Choose Billable Time and Costs window. You can then select the billable hours to place into the invoice shown on the Time tab and then click the OK button. Note that if you entered a custom field for the partner rate within the custom job list when you created the client and case or matter, you can see this information in the invoice form and use it to manually enter the line item's billable rate if needed. You can review entering this information in Lesson 29.5, Entering Clients and Cases, within Chapter 29 of this manual. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.